Hello and welcome to this episode of the Monday Minute. My name is Ken Freeman and today I want to warn you not to drink the Kool-Aid. The problem is this. Two million people every Monday night are being led away into total darkness. The deception is a glaring blasphemy, the absolute rejection of Jesus Christ. And as the story goes, everyone knows the name Oprah. After all, she's a television queen who has a daily audience of about 15 million. I'm sure you have watched her smiling and laughing and sharing with her audience. But here's the rest of the story. Have you ever heard of the world's largest church? The first service was held on March 3, 2008, with an attendance of over 300,000. The membership is now over 2 million. On her television show, Oprah Winfrey has been pushing a new book by Eckhart Tolle called A New Earth. In fact, Oprah has now taken up preaching as a pastime and has determined in her own mixed-up mind that there are now millions of ways to get to heaven. This is sad because Oprah is a hero of tens of millions of television viewers and she is expressing her own unbiblical beliefs without any understanding of the Bible. Oprah has, in effect, denied the teachings of the Bible and of Jesus Christ by asking her viewers, how can there be only one way to heaven or to God? When one lady in her audience asked, what about Jesus? Oprah defiantly answered by repeating her question, What about Jesus? Oprah went on to explain that she had been a Baptist until she heard a charismatic preacher make the statement that God was a jealous God. She told her viewers, in her opinion, God was simply love, and God being described as a jealous God made her stop and think. Don Swarthart, president of Christians Reviving America's Values, said, and I quote, Oprah Winfrey has, in reality, just exposed her own lack of understanding about the God of Christianity. God may be a God of love, but he is also a God of justice and judgment, unquote. He went on to say, the point is that there are millions upon millions of Christians in the United States who thoroughly believe what Jesus taught in the Bible, and for Oprah to come out against that teaching so strongly is simply appalling. Oprah should really stop to think before she goes off preaching her own unfounded beliefs to the world on her show. Rebecca Chadwick, a news contributor for Crave, said, quote, All cults share the same premise. They misrepresent the nature of God. Let us pray for Oprah and Tolly and all those who are lost. To see a complete review of this issue, please visit lastharvestfellowship.com and click on Christian Attacks to see two very revealing videos I urge you to see. The key is that for every one of your clients and your volunteers that may be joining your organization, they may very well be one of her mind-controlled and deceived members. And if so, this is going to present the following problems to your outreach. You are viewed as egoic, meaning that you have been taught by what is being rejected, that you are of the old system, that you are using a Bible that is viewed antiquated. The Christian church is viewed as a failure. The quotes that should alarm you is that there can't possibly be one way to God, but millions. That heaven is not a place that we go to, but a part of your consciousness. That my holiness is only from me. That my salvation is from me, not from God. The only message about the crucifixion is to overcome the cross. Her teachings come from an avowed New Age spirituality that does not align at all with Christianity, and anyone coming from the structure of a hierarchy, in other words, God, Jesus, the church, is viewed as old, outdated, and wrong. Tolley calls Christianity a man-made religion. God is a, quote, feeling experience, not a quote, believing experience, and they go on to say that if you believe in God, you're not believing in the real God. What does this mean to your sinner? If you offer biblical help, they will automatically start to think that you are the one who is wrong, and it means that you have to be aware that new volunteers may be coming with their own version of their God, and it also means that you and I must do our homework to ensure that we are ready to give an answer for the hope that is within us. 
please visit lastharvestfellowship.com. I give you the link here to review these two important videos. There you will hear Live Prayer founder Bill Keller debate media icon Oprah Winfrey on matters of faith. It is, in effect, the Church of Oprah versus the Church of Jesus Christ, the lies of the New Age gurus versus the truth of the Bible. Don't miss this engaging confrontation between the world's leading Internet evangelist and the most powerful woman in the media. It is a modern-day clash of a prophet of God and a false prophet of Satan. To better ground yourself in your faith, let me encourage you to come and feed at lastharvestfellowship.com. Until this time next week, this is Ken Freeman asking you to pray for Oprah and the two million or more who are on the highway to hell in a handbasket. Tell a friend about Monday Minute, and to get a transcript of today's program, type in your name and email in the form below if you are visiting us at Monday Minute, or visit monday-minute.com, and I give you the link here to today's program. Until this time next week, this is Ken when I say I really look forward to being with you. Join me, won't you, for another Monday Minute.